Jose Aurua kwa president. Iluka mano. Jose Aya Mokuongo. Acha koka kelo numos maduong. Moa kumraila amolo odinga. Kaka wudi dale uka. Oh, rani kabiro kumuda kelo mamar. Mara reyo. I want to thank His Excellency the President for coming to our county of Siaya and bringing us goodies, bringing us goodies and giving us so many good things. But when the President, I want to ask your ministers who are with you, who are the implementers, of all the things that you promise us to, to do. Mr. President, please royal them, royal them, and make sure that they do what you have promised. I don't know, I'm sure you don't know how to royal, what royal means. It means prod them, prod them, and prod them, and make sure they do what you have promised will happen. Because, Mr. President, you have received a welcome in this area, in this area of Jaluo, more than any other time that you have been around. Mr. President, this is because, first of all, uh, Raila Amolo Odinga has embraced you, and I think it is not bad, Kurudisha Mkono. We know the role you played in 2007 in making Raila the Prime Minister of Kenya. But we also know that you did not just support him there by mouth. We know what you did at the grassroots. Uh, these are our brothers here who are our neighbors. The Jalango here on Jalo Jagot. What? Well, you vote for him man to man. This was a vote which was there was no, no other vo person who received votes here in Donjelo Jacob. But here in, on our land, we did not give you as much as you gave us that time. But we are telling you that as things move, let us continue to talk, let us continue to negotiate, and let our people feel the government. Let our people feel that they are also part of the government. We have given you our cream of the party. We have given you our two deputy leaders. We have given you Mbadi, who was the chairman of our party. We have given you Pio Wandai, who was the minority leader in parliament. Mr. President, we have given you the topmost cream from our party. And when our president, we don't want them to be walking around we don't want them to be walking around. We want them to work for Kenya. Let them not come around here pro providing us with maize. We know this place is, has very good climate. We can get our own food. But Mr. President, let them work for the Republic of Kenya. And you have said so. I'm so happy, Mr. President, that you have said that as much. And uh, we welcome you. And we hope, Mr. President, that next time when you come, some of these things which you have said, we shall see them done. So these people will be even more uh, happier, and we want to see them more and more integrated into government, in employment, in all sectors of government. Let the Jalu feel that they are part and person. Thank you, Mr. President.